Good morning. I'm Phil Englander, uh, representing Ford Motor Company. I'm with Galpin Ford uh, San Fernando Valley, one of their Ford dealerships. Um, first of all, uh, just a little, little note on Ford Motor Company. Uh, Ford is really making a lot of progress to increase fuel economy across their, their entire fleet. Uh, everything from uh, battery electric vehicles to hybrid battery electric vehicles, propane, um, uh, turbo technology, and of course uh, just improved powertrains and transmissions. And this is going forward in every uh, offering that we're, we have today. Um, Ford is partnered with many different companies uh, in alternative fuels and the uh, power marketplace such as Azure Dynamics, which uh, we'll speak about in a moment, uh, Roush Clean Tech and um, BAF Technologies for their natural gas products. Um, moving forward, Ford's, Ford is not only remaining uh, financially sustainable, but they're obviously uh, making huge advancements in remaining um, environmentally sustainable as well. And very, very proud. I've been with uh, representing Ford as a product for nearly uh, 20 years now, so I'm extremely proud to see where, we're, where we've come and where we're going with uh, just an enormous amount of offerings to, uh, to our clients. Uh, as you can see by this timeline, uh, 2004, when we introduced the uh, Escape Hybrid, uh, it's been uh, probably one of the best-selling uh, utility hybrids out there. Many of the cities, uh, universities, government agencies have acquired those vehicles and still maintain them in their fleets are still running today. Uh, one of the best warranties in the industry as far as the battery uh, goes and uh, uh, pretty much trouble-free. Escape's been a phenomenal vehicle for the manufacturer for a number of years since uh, 2001. Uh, next generation Escape uh, is going to be launched uh, next year in 2012. Uh, it'll be a next generation hybrid electric vehicle. Obviously, with the fusion of the Milan, which joined us last year uh, in 2010, uh, we'll have a next generation platform next year as well. We're also going to be offering uh, in Lincoln offering as well as a uh, hybrid electric vehicle for people that are looking for a little bit more luxury in their, uh, in their vehicles. Uh, Transit Connect, that's uh, what we're really here to talk about today. Transit Connect platform is suited to an all-electric platform. Combination of driving dynamics, cargo capacity, accessibility, and low cost of operation makes Transit Connect the ideal platform for this, uh, th this project. Uh, perfectly util util suited for users that have predictable short-range routes with lots of stop-and-go in urban and suburban environments and obviously large campuses, whether it be private or public campuses. Uh, designed and engineered by, in, excuse me, designed, engineered, and manufactured by Ford on a dedicated global commercial vehicle platform. One thing about this vehicle, it will not be moved around from facility to facility to be built. It will be built on the same assembly line as the current Transit Connect is built today. Uh, battery electric attributes, as you can see, uh, um, 28 kilowatt lithium ion battery. We're going to have a charge time approximately six to eight hours, so obviously overnight charging for the vehicle. Max speed of 75 miles an hour, so hopefully nobody gets in too much trouble. Uh, you'll be able to send up to 20% grades, uh, which I know there's a lot of universities and campuses out here in California that have some very, very steep grades, and good news, this vehicle will be able to handle those. Uh, obviously, the temperature, uh, operating temperature is suitable out here for Southern California, and um, they will have about an 80-mile uh, distance. So like we said, really for design for suburban uh, local areas for deliveries. Uh, as you can see, we also have been testing, and some people have seen them, the Focus battery electric vehicle um, for the Ford Focus. Uh, they have been debuting it around the country. Some of you have seen on Jay Leno's show, he drove it too as well. Uh, that vehicle will be uh, hopefully for 2012. It'll be a, the next generation of the Focus, new body style. And, of course, we'll have the plug-in hybrid for 2012 on the Escape platform uh, coming this year. And, uh, of course, you know, we're still in the same situation that everybody else is in making sure that uh, we want to have proper uh, infrastructure for everybody. We don't want to make our vehicles an inconvenience, but more of a convenience. Uh, obviously, realizing the cost increase to purchase these vehicles, we also want to make sure you'll be able to operate them properly in, in the right locations and that they will be an uh, asset to your organization, not a hindrance to your organization. So with that, I just want to say thank you, and uh, I look forward to your questions. So he didn't ask, he didn't ask for the order, so I will. Southern California Edison has ordered um, 20 of those transit, battery-powered transit connects. 
And I challenge all of you who are fleet operators, including all of you who are from UCLA, to buy one because I think it's extremely important to begin to demonstrate to fleet operators around the region that we can use electric vehicle in, the, in, in those applications as well. So call us. Let's talk about what we're doing. We'll be happy to let you know why we're thinking about that, and hopefully you will buy one too. So how about that for a commercial? So, so okay. Um, Russell uh, is, is next, and Russell and I have been spending a lot of time together because Southern California is an example of how DDP and, and SCE are working with the, util with the autos, is in their drive and drives, which he's going to talk about. We've actually had some of my staff being there to support them to respond and answer any utility questions, as has DDP. So when you're th when, uh, just a good example of how we're willing to work together with all the, all the autos and how there is a, a partnership going forward. So Russell, welcome. Absolutely. Thanks, Bob. Good morning. I'm Russell Vare with Nissan. And uh, any reservation holders in the audience today? couple? All right, good. So just to give you an overview of our, our car, it's a five-seater, 100 miles range, 90 miles an hour top speed. It's powered by a 24 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. And our main focus was with this car was affordability. So our price is 32780 and then down to 25000 with the federal tax credit. And then in California, there's the zero emission vehicle rebate, which brings it down to uh, 20000 um, if uh, for those that can take advantage of that rebate. The uh, battery pack is located in the floor. That gives uh, cabin space, better handling, safety for the battery. The vehicle has uh, three different options for charging. There's a level one and level two charge port, uh, as well as an option for a DC fast charge port. A DC fast charge will be able to charge the vehicle in uh, a half an hour, 80% in a half an hour, and we're gonna hopefully see probably a, a couple hundred of those DC fast charges in California over the next couple years and looking like several thousand level two charges in California. Um, for charging the vehicle on level two, you'd plug it in at home at night. That would be an eight hour overnight charge. In a couple years, we're gonna see option for a 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger, cutting that in half. So that's why we're recommending that um, as part of the, the home installation, which is done by our preferred vendor, Aerovironment, that it's a, a 40 amp, 240 volt circuit to accommodate for, for future vehicles. Um, if you are, it would take 18 hours if you're just gonna use a level one charge. It, it does come with the cord set, so you could do opportunity charging, but to really have kind of full functionality of the vehicle, we're recommending a level two system. There's a, a lot of features on the vehicle that um, really try to help you manage your range and uh, information technology is integrated with um, navigation to easily show you how much, how far you could go visually. Um, there's other features like a charging timer, so you can um, automatically set a charging timer to take advantage of off-peak rates. There's um, also the ability to uh, um, do your climate control uh, through either the internet or web-enabled phone, so you can preheat and pre-cool your car to take advantage of grid power, save range. Um, where we're at, we're, uh, we've had a lot of interest. We've had over 240,000 uh, people across the U.S. Uh, register with the, the website, um, have some 20,000 reservation holders at the moment, which we opened in April. And where we're at right now, is, as Alex said, we're, we're in launch mode, so cars are, are coming um, to California. Deliveries begin in December. Right now, we're in the process of doing a, a couple thousand home assessments and uh, installations on the home EVSE is going to start shortly. Uh, and what we're looking for in order to have the, the market ready, it's been covered by, by everyone this morning, but you know it's important to get demand to have that uh, incentives for consumers, um, looking at ways to streamline the permitting process. And you know what we've seen is we've seen some really interesting programs. I was just in Texas on Wednesday, and the city of Houston has a 24-hour a commitment for uh, permitting a home EVSE. So if you get a permit in the morning, you'll have an inspector there by the end of the day. Uh, we've seen City of Los Angeles has done online permitting. So um, Oregon has a, a minor label program, which is basically doing um, self-certification with spot inspections. So I think that there's some real innovation that we can see um, by sharing this information nationwide to see what, what are ways we can even make this uh, simpler. And then, of course, charging infrastructure is really important to have, you know, um, 
assurance for drivers that they're going to be able to charge their vehicle. And then, like Bob mentioned, education and outreach. We've been working together on, you know, like this, this drive electric tour. So it's, you know, Nissan's commitment is bringing affordable vehicles in the tens of thousands. Um, and then, uh, you know, looking to work with everyone in this room and have conversations about how we can kind of build those partnerships and really ensure that this market is prepared for the kind of level of electric vehicles that we're going to see enter the market. So um, uh, is there anyone who's, who drove the car at the Alt Car Expo? Okay. So those of you who don't have your hands up, write down that website, drivenissanleaf.com. We're going to be in Southern California. This is the last weekend. David mentioned it. I've told everyone at the event that um, there's a possible rush of people coming at 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock when this is over. So it's only it's three miles down the street at Century City. We've seen a, a, lot of, a lot of interest. We've had a couple thousand people come through um, in the last few weekends that we've been in Southern California to drive the cars. We've had participation from Edison, DWP, and SDG&E to, to help educate consumers on, on what they need to know about preparing their home and the utility side of it. So we've been, we, we really have been seeing these partnerships and we want to see them continue. So um, I hope you have a, a chance to come see the car today. Thank you.